That was one of our national eyesores. Anywhere that you go in this country, you're liable to see thousands and thousands of discarded automobile tires. Many of them, however, are now being recycled, but you probably don't know that you could already be driving over highways that are made in part from old car tires. Here's a report from Eric Burns. This is a story about frozen tires and the fellow who freezes them and why. But before we explain all that, a few words about unfrozen tires. There are so many of them lying around America that if you stack them up, one on top of the other, they would reach to the moon, or so it's been estimated. And every year, we Americans throw away 230 million more tires. Old tires have been a problem for us for 83 years. The tire <clears throat> has been around for since 1894 in the form that we know it today. And a tire does not biologically degrade. It does not fall apart uh, left laying anywhere. It, it stays in its natural form, retains its natural properties. But seven years ago, this man, Professor Norman Brayton of the University of Wisconsin, figured out a way to get rid of old tires. The first thing he does is feed them to a machine which shreds them and rips them. The machine is called a shripper. The shrip tires are loaded onto a truck and taken to another machine. Now, usually, this kind of machine freezes hamburger patties for fast food restaurants. Now, it's freezing pieces of rubber for the mechanical engineering department at the University of Wisconsin. It's 320 Fahrenheit degrees below zero inside the hamburger freezer. That's liquid nitrogen, you see, coming out of it. And Professor Brayton, you see, looking at it proudly. Everyone likes to make a contribution to society sometime in their lifetime, and when they do, it makes them feel good. And because the tire is such a difficult product to, has been such a difficult product to recycle, uh, it's got to make me feel good. No question about it. When the pieces of shrimp tires come out of the hamburger freezer, they fall into a machine called a hammer mill. These are slow motion black and white pictures of the hammers inside the mill pulverizing the rubber. By the way, only when rubber is frozen and thus brittle can it be broken up like this. This is what the tires look like after they've gone through the shripper, the hamburger freezer, and the hammer mill, and after the steel and fabric, either nylon or rayon, have been removed. If you mix these particles of rubber with asphalt, about 5% rubber, 95% asphalt, you can pave highways, and there are some tests that indicate that this rubber asphalt mixture makes better highways than just asphalt by itself. There are quite a few other uses for these rubber particles, too. You can make garbage cans out of them, garden hoses, flower pots, railroad ties, mattresses for animals, mats that soak up oil spills. In fact, there are so many uses for these particles that Professor Norman Brayton of the University of Wisconsin, who seven years ago was thinking there are too many old tires in this country, now is wondering if there are enough. Eric Burns, NBC News, La Crosse, Wisconsin. Of course, you're going to be in a lot of trouble if you're driving down one of those highways and it suddenly goes flat and you've got to get out and change it. It's about uh, 12 and a half minutes before the hour now, and coming up in just a few moments, Jane Pauley will be here with a lot of dog art. Time now for this commercial.